Now let's have a look at two small tasks for our uh, joining of the tables. The first task refers to two tables, to the two tables products and categories. And here if you look into the products, then it might be interesting to have the product name and the category name from the categories table. We do not have the category name in our products table because we refer by this category ID. And then we have a category ID in the categories table. And in this categories table, there's the category name. But we somehow want to write the product name right beside the category name. That's our goal for this select statement, for this joining here, for this first join. And that's why we select from the product table the product name and from the category table the category name. And now the first question is how to connect it by the uh, by the join with what kind of condition is it to connect. The second task is um, about products and suppliers. So suppliers somehow deliver the product and there is a supplier ID in the suppliers table and a supplier ID in the product table. This is a foreign key here and the primary key here. And both tables are connected by these supplier IDs. And what we are actually interested in is the product name, maybe also the price from the products table and from the supplier table we are interested in the supplier name so that we can list the product, the price and the supplier name in one table, in one result that we can have a look at this, at the data in one compound, so to say. And as a second part here in our uh, second task, we want to do some sorting, some order by supplier name and order by the product name. So you might uh, you might see that there is a supplier maybe uh, delivering many products. Then you have the supplier which is equal for different rows, and then if it's the case then we sort regarding the product name. So how do the solutions look like for these two small tasks? The first solution actually looks like that. We have a select. We select the rows, the columns of interest, product name and category name. We select it from two different tables, products as P and categories as C. So this abbreviation is Elga starts with the first letter of P, of products, P, and with the first letter of categories, the C. That's why we choose P and C. And we want to refer to our category ID as the connecting column. Category ID in products table should be the same as category ID in categories table. So this basically is the statement for our connection of the products and the categories. Let's have a look at that in our example database. So here I prepared the SQL statement. Again, we select these two columns and from this product table, from the categories table, and here is the important condition, the important condition which connects us, our two tables, products and categories. And let's just run that statement. And then we see that we get indeed the list of product names and category names. Actually, they're not in one table, but now here in our result, they are shown in one table, in one table um, containing two different columns, product name column and category name column. Let's have a look at the second task for our join here. The second task 
for the connection of uh, our products and suppliers. We want to select a specific set of columns, the product name, the price and the supplier name. From these two tables, from products as P and suppliers as S, with two different aliases so that we don't have to write that much. And we want to connect with P suppliers from the products table, it should be the supplier ID column. And from the supplier table, it should be the supplier ID column as well. And if both values are equal, then the row should be selected. And we add some order by here because we want to order by the supplier name first and second by the product name. And if we have it like that, then we want to sort ascending for both of these columns. So let's have a look at that in our example database. In our example database, we um, add our select statement with the where clause here and with the order by, as explained before. We just run that SQL and we see that we get exactly this result with product name, price, and supplier name. Product name, price, and supplier name. And we get the supplier name sorted first. So here it's sorted regarding the supplier name, starting with A, B, C, and so on. And if there is the same supplier name, there is the same supplier name, for example, here Bigfoot Breweries or Cooperativa de Quesos, then we look at the product name, and the product name is then sorted. Here, uh, L S S, and maybe in, in some different supplier here again A C C. And the same is valid for other suppliers. It's regarded, it's sorted regarding the suppliers first, and then if the supplier is equal, then the product. Name. So second example for the join here in our example database.